Inadequate fluid supply, leading to air bubbles forming and collapsing within the pump, symptoms, unusual noises, like knocking or banging, decreased efficiency, and potential damage to internal components, solution, ensure proper fluid levels, check for restrictions in the intake line, and verify the correct fluid viscosity, overheating, cause, high ambient temperatures, excessive load, or inadequate cooling systems, symptoms, reduced performance, oil degradation, and potential damage to seals and other components, solution, improve cooling system efficiency, reduce loads, and use proper hydraulic fluids designed for high temperature operation. Fluid contamination, cause, ingress of dirt, water, or other contaminants into the hydraulic fluid, symptoms, wear and tear on components, reduced efficiency, and potential system failure, solution, regularly change filters, maintain a clean working environment, and use high quality, clean hydraulic fluids, seal and gasket failures, cause, normal wear and tear, incorrect installation, or use of improper materials, symptoms, fluid leaks, reduced system pressure, and inefficient operation, solution. Regular inspection and replacement of seals and gaskets, ensuring correct installation procedures, and using recommended materials, wear and tear, cause, continuous operation under heavy loads, inadequate maintenance, symptoms, decreased performance, abnormal noises, and eventual system breakdown, solution, regular maintenance schedules, use of proper lubricants, and adherence to manufacturer's operating guidelines, improper assembly or installation, cause, mistakes during the assembly process or incorrect installation, symptoms, misalignment, inefficiency, and potential component damage, solution, follow the manufacturer's installation guidelines, use proper tools, and ensure trained personnel handle assembly and installation. The problem, John, a seasoned engineer, had a Rexroth 810 VSO hydraulic pump that had been in service for over a decade. Recently, the pump began to exhibit signs of severe wear, frequent overheating, strange noises, and diminished performance, diagnosis, upon inspection, John identified multiple issues, cavitation damage, internal components showed pitting, indicating cavitation, fluid contamination, the hydraulic fluid was discolored and filled with particulate matter, worn seals and gaskets, numerous seals were brittle and cracked, general wear, several internal components were worn beyond serviceable limits, the restoration process, disassembly, John carefully disassembled the pump, documenting each step to ensure correct reassembly, cleaning. He cleaned all parts using an ultrasonic cleaner to remove all traces of old fluid and contaminants. Component inspection. Each component was inspected for wear. John replaced all worn parts, including pistons, the swashplate, and the valve plate, seal and gasket replacement. New, OEM-specified seals and gaskets were installed to ensure leak-free operation, reassembly. John meticulously reassembled the pump, ensuring all components were correctly aligned and torqued to manufacturer specifications, fluid replacement and system flush. He filled the system with fresh, high-quality hydraulic fluid and performed a complete system flush to remove any remaining contaminants. Testing, after reassembly, John tested.